today is February 9th, and I thought I would make a meatloaf for you today in the crock pot. Yes, can you make a meatloaf in the crock pot? Yes, you can, but I am not using my liner. I'm actually using tin foil to line my crock pot because you want to seal in those juices, lock in those you know, good juices for the meatloaf because sometimes meatloaf tends to dry out a little bit. And actually, I'm also not going to be using milk. I know some people add milk for moisture. I'm not a fan, so I'm going to omit the milk and I'll give you some examples of what I threw together, what I always throw together. I mean, you guys could do whatever you want. Uh, you know, in a meatloaf, just throw in what you have left in the fridge or in the pantry. It's great. So, all right, let's get started. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna be mixing together a half an onion, about two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. I'm using three to four garlic cloves, six ounces of tomato paste. I'm using about a quarter cup of ketchup, and I am soaking some store-bought stuffing. You could use any store-bought stuffing that you want. I'm soaking it in chicken broth so that it softens up. I'm using two eggs, and I'm gonna be using this bottom round roast that I asked the butcher to grind up for me about three or four times. And I'm telling you, it is the best flavor. Ask your butcher to grind up a roast. I promise you, promise, promise, it's fantastic. All right, so let's get started. I'm also gonna be using barbecue sauce. I did not show you, let me show you that. I'm gonna be using some barbecue sauce. That's gonna glaze the top of the meatloaf. So, all right, let's get started. Okay, you guys, so I squeezed out the chicken broth from the stuffing. And the reason I'm using stuffing is because it gives it that burst of flavor instead of using just dry breadcrumbs. To me, it gives it that extra little bit of flavor. So, all right, I am going to mix this with my hands because that's the only way to go, right? Okay, all right, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so she's in there. Doesn't she look pretty? Oh, she looks pretty. So seven to nine hours on low or four to five hours on high. This is, again, comfort food. You know, you don't feel like coming home from work and popping in a meatloaf because it takes too long. You can just put this in in the morning and by the time you come home from work, <gasps> oh, the house will be smelling great and dinner will be done. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Okay, you guys, this meatloaf came out amazing. When I took it out, I did put it under the broiler for about 10 minutes. And let me tell you again, the house is smelling so good and I can't wait to dig in. That barbecue sauce on the top is just such a gorgeous glaze. You guys could use any glaze that you like, but I really enjoy the barbecue sauce on top and wow, just amazing. So, all right, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.